This man has been trapped in his car for days. He'd run out of water and had to pee in a box. But food is a problem. Why is he here? The man is a car thief. Just a few days ago, he targeted this car. He searched the car's contents and was locked in. No matter whether he pressed the starter button or knocked on the window, it didn't work. He took out an iron pipe and knocked on the window, but it still didn't work. He pried open the door handle. But when he tried to open the door, his hand was cut and blood was pouring out. The bottom of the car was also made of thick steel plate. The thief was furious and shot at the glass, still no use. The thief could only take off his clothes to bandage his wound, but the bullet bounced into his thigh. A woman approached him, and the thief called out for help. But the woman doesn't hear him at all. The thief tried to call for help, but his cell phone ran out of battery. The next day, the car monitor showed a call from the owner, who had set the alarm to lock the car remotely. He added 120 liters of gasoline, enough to blow the thief to pieces. At that moment, someone called the owner. The thief attacked the owner and ran away. The thief was crawling. While holding the wall, he fired a gun to call for help, but the owner came back before he could wait. It turned out that the thief had missed and just grazed the owner. The owner was furious and dragged the thief back. The police rushed over and threatened the owner to let him go. Soon the scene of the crime was surrounded. In addition to the police, there were reporters and even negotiators. The owner of the car finally revealed his purpose. It turns out there are robberies in this neighborhood every day. Even the kids are afraid to go to school. Every house has an alarm. All of this is due to the incompetence of the police. Now the owner wants to make an example of him. The negotiator calms the owner down. He goes up to the owner and tells him about his tragic experience. He just wants to make one thing clear. This doesn't change anything. Tomorrow there will be another thief. But he said not to take the blame for the murder because of the heat of the moment. Your daughter doesn't want to see her father kill anyone. The owner of the car was swayed to let the thief go. But put a timer on the roof of the car. The expert realized something was wrong and yelled at him to get down. In the end, the owner died. The owner asked what he would do if he caught his son stealing, and the thief called the owner crazy. The owner hangs up the phone and turns the air conditioning down, freezing the thief into a popsicle. The owner turns off the air conditioning and calls again. This time he asked for the thief's name and ID and promised a reward if he told the truth. This time the thief answered truthfully and was rewarded with half a bottle of water. The next day the thief had a fever and begged the owner for mercy, but the owner just turned on the heat. The thief woke up in a coma and found a thief to steal the car, but was surrounded by people bleeding. See this thief regrets it. These days when the thief was starving to death, the owner of the car will give him something to eat. This day, the owner of the car said to find out the information of the thief's family. The thief told the car owner not to move his family, and then he called his family with the only battery left, but no one answered. The thief dreamed that he pressed the start button and broke out of the window, but woke up disappointed to find that it was just a dream. The phone rang again and the thief threatened the owner of the car, saying he wanted to see his son or he would kill himself. After the thief shoots himself, the owner opens the door and prepares to give the thief one last ride.